it's me again. For this project, I've um, been looking at Top Gear as my biggest fan. Um, looked at the amphibious car ideas. Their challenge is to make a car that could go on the road and on the water and see if it could, well, survive all the way through the experience. And the first try they did, they nearly completely failed. But um, the second try, however, succeeded spectacularly. So, I thought of an idea of making the model size of this amphibious car. Unfortunately, it's not completely done yet, but I can show you what I've done so far and to see if you explore my idea. So, if you bear with me just for a second. And here it is. Isn't she a beauty? Now, this is supposed to be a pickup truck dedicated to Jeremy Clarkson's idea, but there is absolutely no sign of elbow motor in the back. So, I haven't copied his idea, but uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, as you can see from here, these just look like Pepsi cans attached to the car. But these are supposed to be barrels that basically helps them to give them buoyancy and balance during the, well, it's boat ride. But at the moment, they're the only signs of buoyancy, as there is nothing under here that can make it float. There will be something, but uh, like I said, development will come after this video. So, and you'll also be thinking, how come they're not going to touch the water, aren't they? True, but watch this. Now, what I'm going to do is detach this line here, which is, helps them to stay up, uh, attach, detach this, and look, it works. Just like a charm. And, basically, if you um, just take off this and put it in between the middle, what you want to do, because it's going to take a while, and uh, it will work. And if you look, it may look a bit wide, but as this will go up, it will fit on the road. Well, with uh, value difficulties. So, that's one idea covered. And now, for one of the PS2 systems, the engine. This is a battery case for the motor. Um, it's very important to keep it up, just in case of um, any shortage of water, just rushes by and uh, basically ruins the whole thing. Next is the motor, which is here. Um, it's not particularly a good motor or fast motor, but it's good enough for um, well for this part of, for the project really. Um, next comes this line all the way down to this cog right here. Now this cog will be very helpful because basically, since the uh, propeller will go down there, which it is in one moment, but I'll construct one um, after this video. And it will be helped with this other cog, which will look down there, if you can see the yellow thing, that thing there. Um, yeah, so, and then that would turn the cog, if I give you a demonstration. Three, two, one. There you go. It works. And that's what I've done so far. And this, however isn't the completion, the complete series of my model. But if you have any um, ambition to actually create your own version, be my guest. Just don't copy my model. Or I'm gonna find you. Nah, I'm just joking. Just don't copy my idea, okay? Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it gives you inspiration and uh, peace out.